Hi everyone. So we're in the middle of Fashion Revolution Week, which marks the tragic Rana Plaza factory collapse in Bangladesh and encourages us to think about who made our clothes. Today I'm doing a Halternative, and if you haven't heard of that before, it's basically an alternative to the traditional fast fashion hauls that are all over YouTube and instead showing thrift hauls, vintage finds, mended clothes, swapped or borrowed clothes, or DIY and upcycle clothes like I'm going to show in this video. So I've done a few easy DIYs to repurpose or renew some of my clothes, and the first one is this scarf, which used to be a skirt. It was a vintage wool skirt that I bought a couple of years ago and I bought it kind of on an impulse because I found it in a thrift store and I loved the fabric so much and the colors and I didn't really think through how it would work with my wardrobe and I found that I just wasn't wearing it very much. Instead, I decided to turn it into a scarf which would be more wearable in my wardrobe. Because the skirt had only one side seam, I cut it open so I had a big piece of fabric and then just cut it into this triangular shape. Because I cut along the weave of the fabric, I decided to fray the ends so there was no sewing required and I get this nice little fringe. And this way I can still wear this beautiful fabric just as a nice cozy scarf. My next DIY project is this really loose t-shirt which I dyed with tea. This t-shirt has been in some of my earlier capsule wardrobes but recently I found I just wasn't very excited about it because of the color and I decided to try darkening it a little bit. I wanted to use natural dyes, but cotton can be difficult to dye, especially without a mordant, but tea works well because the tannins in the tea work well with cotton. You're not gonna get a deep, vibrant color, but it's a good method if you wanna darken a piece a little bit. Dyeing your clothes is a great way to change up a piece that you're maybe a little bit bored with. All I did was boil a bunch of tea and then soak the t-shirt in it for a full day. After dyeing the t-shirt, I also decided to throw my red skirt into the tee. I wasn't expecting a lot from it, but it is a very bright red and I thought I might darken it just a little bit. There wasn't a huge change, but I wasn't expecting a huge change. It just deepened the color a little bit, which is what I wanted. If you're interested in natural dyeing, there are a ton of resources online. You can also use synthetic dyes, which will give you a much broader range of colors. But the only thing I will say is it's very difficult to dye synthetic fibers and I would not recommend it, so if you're gonna do any dyeing, stick with natural fabrics. The next project I did was turning a linen dress into this apron. Now this dress was actually part of my alternative from last year, and I bought it because I was looking for a linen dress, I liked the big pockets on it, but I found that because of the color and because of the cut of the dress, the wrinkles, which linen obviously wrinkles, and I know that, but they were so obvious right across where you would sit, and I just, I don't know, I just wasn't super happy with it when I was wearing it. But I've been needing an apron and I decided that this was the perfect dress to turn into an apron because it not only has these great pockets, but the cut was really easy to just switch into an apron. So basically all I did was cut down the side seams. I cut the neckline shape out that I wanted and I finished the neck edge with some bias tape. I then used the leftover back piece to cut two ties, which I folded in half and sewed onto the side seams. And then I just finished the side seams and now I have an apron with these nice big pockets and it's exactly what I wanted and I didn't have to buy anything new. And finally, a really easy way to change up your garments is to put new buttons on them. This jacket you guys have probably seen in a lot of my capsule wardrobes. It used to have brown buttons. I actually lost one of the buttons on it, but I took that as a good excuse to change up the buttons. I really like these brushed silver buttons. I think they give it an edgier look. It's amazing how different a garment can look with new buttons, so that's a really easy way to change up your clothes. So I hope you enjoyed this little DIY alternative. There are lots of different ways to repurpose or renew your clothes. And I encourage you to take part in Fashion Revolution Week. I'll include more information down below, but some ways you can participate are taking a photo with your tag and asking the brand who made my clothes. You can share your own alternatives. You can also share your clothing love story. And if you haven't seen the love story video I posted on Monday, please check it out. I'm so excited to share these different clothing love stories. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I will see you in the next one.